There is something about bringing that many people from so many different countries together who all come from such different backgrounds, such different cultural contexts and very different kinds of festivals, but they all have one thing in common, which is they really believe in the power of film to transform the lives of audiences. ICO's Developing Your Film Festival is really one of a kind. There's nowhere really that, especially international cohorts, of festival workers and programmers and executives can come learn about how to run a film festival. I find the speakers in this course is really engaging and they are like really know what they're doing. I believe they're like the best in their area. I've really noticed that with developing your film festival, over just four days you can take your film festival to the next level. You have the privilege to uh, learn from speakers that have such experience and such a high level. You learn so much. So my name is Hatija Azdemijla. I'm the head of Partnerships and Development for the Independent Cinema Office based in London. So I'm going to be talking to you today about our Developing Your Film Festival training course. Which The course, Developing Your Film Festival, we've been running now for 10 years. It is funded um, by Creative Europe and the British Council. Um, and it's well established we have had 200 participants over the last 10 years. Um, it's really a unique opportunity for film festival professionals to develop themselves and their festivals. There's no other course like it. Um, and we're very proud to say that 100% of our past participants recommend the course to their peers. We really want to help professionalise the sector, which is why this festival course was, was born. Um, the topics that are covered include business planning, audience development, sponsorship and press strategy. Now these four key areas are how we help people really take their festivals to the next level. The, the, st the style that we have with the course is very active learning ethos. So it's not just sit and listen, you work with um, maybe in pairs and, and different groups, actually thinking about your own festival right the way through the course, which is something we think is very important for making sure that when you actually get back to work after your training experience, you're already thinking about how to change your festival. So it's not theoretical. It's very much embedded in how we teach the course. Um, you will get a chance to meet speakers from all over the world. We, we change the speakers Every year we're always looking for new and interesting ideas, but in the past speakers have included people from Toronto, Berlin, Rotterdam, um, Vilnius, New Horizons and lots of other places. So we really, we really bring you the world to speak to, um, as well as speaking to or, and, and hearing from speakers from across the world, you will meet fellow participants from around the world and networking is something that's very, very important for festivals on this course. You can sometimes be quite lonely working in a film festival if you do particular jobs. You might have never met anybody else that does your job. Um, if you, you know, so it really can be quite an inspirational experience for people. And those networks and connections really stay long after the course is finished. Um, we're looking for people to do this course who are ambitious and whose festivals have potential to grow. We do often have festival directors attending the course, but we also have people who might work in the marketing department or maybe in operations, or they might work with uh, on the press side of things, you know, depending on the size of the festival, uh, lots of different roles for people that might attend this course. But the most important thing is that you have got potential to change things at your festival. So while we don't specifically exclude junior job roles it, it depends on the makeup of your festival if you've got a potential um, opportunity to change things at your festival then we're interested in in having an application from you we do ask that you have been working in festivals for at least two years and that your festival has been established for at least two years we also are really looking for festivals with at least five thousand admissions that's our kind of uh, 
key criteria, but we do make exceptions for lots of reasons. So if you think that you still have, um, you'd still really like to attend and you've got specific reasons that you don't meet that 5,000, for instance, you come from a very small island like Malta or Cyprus, then, um, you know, we make exceptions all the time for those kind of uh, practical challenges with me, with getting 5,000 audience or other special circumstances. Again, we're very happy to have an application from you. We are uh, recruiting at the moment. The deadline is the 1st of February and the course for the first time will be taking place online because of the global pandemic. This is something we did hope to avoid, but we are now at the point where we're happy to run it online. We have been running online courses for nearly nine months now. So we've got lots of experience about how to do this in the best way for the participants. We have decided to run the course over five weeks with several sessions, several short sessions every week. Uh, this we find helped people actually take on board what's going on and go back and, and maybe do a bit of work on their own or think about the things that they've heard in the course and then come back to the group again. And that it's more invigorating process for everybody rather than sit at a computer for five days so there's a course fee of 750 euros per applicant we do have a substantial budget for scholarships and we hope to help everybody attend that that would not be able to because of the situation that we're in globally uh, i think that's it for me really i look forward to some questions make it a bit more interactive I was so happy when I finally found out that there is a course um, that is like teaching everything that a festival is connected with, like sponsorships, all finances, ticketing, volunteering, like marketing. And yes, like there is no platform like this and there is no chance to get in contact with people that do have the same challenges every single year that do have the same problems and yeah it's it's so nice to to get in touch with these people the most important thing to me was like we had a session about volunteering and our festival is a tv series festival and out of legal reasons we are not allowed to um, get any entry to to charge any entries so um, and normally if you're a volunteer at a festival you get something in return from the festival like normally it is a free access pass to all the festival events and we couldn't do that because everything was for free anyways so um, and within that course we learned so much about other benefits you could give to volunteers like certificates of them being working at your festival or there's a lot of people out there that just want to have a look behind the curtains of a festival so um, yes and then we finally increased uh, our number of volunteers from i guess four volunteers to nearly 20 volunteers so um, yes that was a very great experience i'm deputy director now so it played out pretty well <laughs> But um, I think the, the most important thing I took home from the course was to, to see a festival like a whole thing, to stop thinking in, in departments and to more get a vision of a whole festival. And um, yeah, I think that's the most important thing. So business skills is, is where we start. And then we move on to do very detailed analysis of things like audience development, sponsorship strategy. I don't think there's any festival in the world that doesn't need sponsors. So this is something that we focus on. Um, and also looking at how you deal with the press. Um, again, very important stuff. And, and throughout that, we will be having case studies from festivals on sometimes on things like logistics of, of how do you manage 200 volunteers, for instance, you know, these sorts of things. So that, that uh, content is a bit more fluid, but the four key um, elements are their business skills, press strategy, sponsorship and audience development. I don't know if you wanted to add anything, Catherine. No, I think, I think the, the sort of benefit 
saw that uh, you are also speaking to your peers. So we get people from um, really a range of different festivals from all over the world. So you have people who are maybe from short, from specialist film festivals, so documentaries or animation or shorts. And then you get people from um, film festivals that are kind of based in cities or so it's a kind of citywide festival. You get big, much bigger film festivals, much smaller film festivals, but usually they don't necessarily know each other. So you have that kind of benefit of learning learning from other people. We've thought quite a lot about how we um, present this here and talk about the pandemic and how festivals have, have had to manage that, as, as everybody in the film industry has had to kind of change their business models and think about how they develop. So on the one hand, I think you will very much get an inflection of how COVID has affected different festivals and how they've adapted and how they've changed and how they've looked at different models of delivery. But at the same time, I think some of the kind of principles underlying the course are the same, which is how do you build a sustainable business? How, how do you make sure that everybody's paid properly and the people that you can develop and deliver and that you can build that network that's sustainable? So I think we'll probably have kind of both, but definitely, yes, we will be um, reflecting on what's this year. It was a session of uh, Jennifer Fries. She was by the time the head of sponsorships in of Toronto Film Festival. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was a great session, also a challenging session, because um, we made a kind of a role play that um, us, the participants, were uh, directors of a festival and we had to pitch a sponsoring concept to different companies. And uh, yes, so, uh, and there was, there were no excuses. Um, like after the session, um, we got a lot of feedback, very good feedback, and it was very directed to you as a person also to how, how you interact and everything. and. Yeah, I remember it as a, as a very good session and I think I also Im improved myself after, after that session in terms of sponsoring. When we're assessing the applications, I don't look too much at the job title because I it means different things in different countries. And, you know, what we're looking at is, is what somebody's actually doing and what their ambition is. So... <clears throat> um, We have, we have had lots and lots of directors for film festivals, but at small festivals, the, the director would be doing all the jobs anyway. So, <laughs> you know, this is how it works. So, um, I'd, yeah, I, I would say don't get too hung up on that. If you, if you have, it's all about this ability to make changes. Could you apply for the course if your festival is just starting? I would say the problem with that is you don't really even know what your challenges are if you haven't started. So you, you're going to be, you need a different discussion level. And what we're offering here is, is people that are already busy doing it and need, need support 